Hello my beloved students. <coughs> Today I am going to start my next lecture that is my third lecture which will be on the basis of shear force and bending moment diagram of a cantilever beam where the cantilever beam is subjected to both point load and uniformly distributed load in the first two uh, lecture we have discussed individually about the shear force and bending moment diagram for a beam subjected to point load and again in the second lecture i have discussed about the <coughs> shear force and bending moment diagram for a beam which is subjected to udl that is uniformly distributed load throughout its length now i am going to show you another problem in which there are both uniformly distributed load as well as point load will act in the beam here you see uh this is a cantilever beam in this cantilever beam two types of load are there this is point load at the end free end of the beam which is uh, suppose 15 kN and at a distance 2 m from the free end we have applied uh uniformly distributed load which is of length 2 m this is 2 m and this distance is also 2 m let us consider another load which is acting at the end of the uniformly distributed load which is suppose 5 kN and let us consider the intensity of the udl is 3 kN per meter this length is also that is this distance is also 2 meter <coughs> now we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this cantilever beam so this is for shear force diagram s f d this is the x axis which is showing the uh, length of the beam so total length of the beam is 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6 m so so the dotted line like this like this now we have to start the free body uh, we have to start the calculation from the free end so at the free end shear force is how much 15 kN so let us take this much of height is 15 kN this is 15 kN now as there is no load in between this this point and this point let us uh, take the let us consider some name of the points this is a point this is b point this is c point and this is d point now uh, this is uh, 15 kN and as there is no load in between b and d so this distance will be constant now for this udl load what will be the total udl load at this point at this point total udl load will be uh, udl for this much of length that is 3 kN per meter so for 2 meter it will be 3 into 2 that is 6 kN and there is already 15 kN so 15 plus 6 as all these force are acting in downward direction so it will be added with 15 kN so 15 plus 3 into 2 that is 6 15 plus 6 is how much 
21 so at this point let us take this point as 21 so right here 21 kilo newton so join this this is 21 and at this point that is at point C another load is there which is 5 kN so 5 kN will also be added here because this is also acting in downward direction so 21 plus 5 that is 26 so go 26 here in the upward direction so it will be 26 kN kilo kN kilo and as there is no load in between A and C so it will be constant horizontal line will be there to show the constant shear force so this is the shear force diagram for the cantilever beam subjected to two point load and one uniformly distributed load now what will be the shape of the bending moment diagram for this cantilever beam so let us take another horizontal line which is showing the length of the bar length of the beam cantilever beam now from the free end we will uh, again calculate the value of bending moment at the free end uh, what will be the value of uh, bending moment as force is acting 15 kN on that point so the distance of the force is 0 so 15 into 0 it will be 0 so here bending moment is 0 and at this at the point D uh, how much will be the uh, bending moment the distance is 2 and the force is 15 kN in the right hand side direction so 15 into 2 that is 15 into 2 that is 30 so 30 is uh, acting in downward direction so what will be the curve uh, of the beam after bending it will be in the opposite in the <coughs> inverted uh, like moon inverted moon shape so it is hogging for for hogging we know the bending moment is always negative so it will be negative how much was the bending moment at point d it was 15 into 2 that is 30 so 30 is bending moment at this point so here as point load is applied and we are calculating the bending moment for the point load so it will be added by straight line in the last class we have already discussed for that for point load it will be straight line but for uh, <coughs> straight line in case of bending moment and for UDL load it will be parabolic curve in bending moment so what will be the bending moment at point uh, C at point C there are two force one is 3 kN per meter is acting UDL here and one more force that is 15 kN which is at a distance of 4 meter from C 2 plus 2 4 so calculate the bending moment here so it will be 15 into 4 bending moment at point C is equal to 15 into 4 plus 3 into 2 that is total load and the distance of the load which is acting in the midpoint of the UDL so what will be the distance of midpoint the total total distance is 2 meter so from C the distance of the midpoint will be 2 by 2 half of 2 that is from here it will be acting so total is 2 so midpoint will be 1 so it is 3 into 2 into 1 and <coughs> there is no other force so bending moment is 15 into 4 that is 60 plus 3 into 6 3 into 2 that is 6 so it will be equal to 66 kilo newton meter 
so um, yeah, it will be uh, this is the 30 and this will be 66 it will be double of course so it is 66 kilo newton meter and this is 30 kilo newton meter so what will be the line for joining this two point that is point c and d it will be a parabolic line that is like this why parabolic because udl is acting in this distance so it will be added two point will be added by parabolic line now you see one thing for point a we have to calculate the bending moment again so from point a the distance of 15 kilonewton load is 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6 so 15 into 6 will be the bending moment for the load 15 kilonewton so bending moment at point c not c it is a bending moment at point a equal to how much 15 into 6 15 into 6 plus for udl it will be 3 into 2 and the distance will be from here a to c is 2 plus the distance half distance that is 1 2 plus 1 so it will be 3 so 3 into 2 is the total load and that should be multiplied by 3 which is the distance of the midpoint of the udl from point a now another force is there which is 5 kN which is at a distance 2 meter from a so 5 kN will be multiplied by 2 so 5 into 2 so what will be the value of this uh, total <coughs> bending moment so 15 into 6 that is 90 plus 3 into 2 in 6 6 into 3 18 18 plus 5 into 2 that means 10 so 90 plus 10 is 100 100 plus 10 is 110 and 118 will be the total value of the bending moment so it will be 118 kilo newton meter so it will be 118 suppose this point is 118 118 kilo newton meter now we have to join this point that is point a and point c by straight line because there is no udl in between so it will be added by straight line if udl is there then bending moment will be a parabolic curve not the shear force remember this thing so this is our bending moment diagram for this problem is it clear to all of you if if you have any doubt you can give comment in the comment box that's all my beloved student thank you for watching